Hello everyone, welcome to another hot and sunny day on board Wonder of the Seas. Today we are in Marseille. Um, we're already, we're about to go up and get breakfast and then we're going to go off the ship. Um, today, another chill day, we don't have any trips or tours planned. Um, we've been Marseille before and we have like a bit of an idea of what we want to do today. So I'll show you what I'm wearing and then we head off to breakfast. I will show you some of breakfast if I, ca if I can but it's so busy at breakfast. If not, I will show you on one of the days. Um, I will try and show you now because it is, it's 10 o'clock and people have been able to get off the ship since for about half an hour, about 30, 35 minutes. So I'm hoping that people, that a lot of people have got off and finishing breakfast. And breakfast I think finishes in like 20, 25 minutes. So I show you what I'm wearing. Aaron is, what are you doing in the background now, Aaron? I don't know if they can see you. So I'm trying to make my knees not so, like bloody, uh, what do you call it? Not so dry, basically. Um, I'll show you what we're wearing and then we're gonna head off. Ignore that evening, it's something over there. Aaron has his very nice hat, t shirt, shorts, trainers. Simple, simple, simple. I have a headband, this little face, I have this necklace, so it's quite pretty this outfit. A little face suit and then my super, super comfy sandals. Um, for if we do a lot of walking. Yeah, very nice little close up shot going on. And then this is Murano bracelet, and I don't really wear it apart from holiday. I only wear it on holiday, but I really like wearing it on holiday, if that makes sense. So let's go get breakfast. We're in Marseille. Um, we've just got here. I just wanted to let you know. So Royal Caribbean do do a shuttle, it's $20 each to get to Marseille, which is quite a lot for a shuttle. However, if you walk five, 10 minutes max, just follow the green path um, along to get kind of go along the port. Five, 10 minute walk maximum. There's a free shuttle. Um, while we were there, obviously it could be different. Obviously it's, um, we, there's a lot of um, cruise ships here at the moment. So that might be why it's running quite regularly. I know sometimes it can run not as regularly, but for us every 20 minutes, but it was here in like 15. And then I'd say it's maybe a, the cathedral's right here, so this is kind of like near where it takes you. And then it's about a five, 10 minute walk, say 10 minutes to the harbour. So it's really good. So especially if there's like a family or something, definitely get the free shuttle and get the free shuttle anyway, because the queues for the Royal Caribbean shuttle, you do just have to pay. The queues were really long to buy the tickets and then long to get on. So let's wander around Marseille. A little bit cloudy, the sun keeps peeking through, but it's like 27 degrees, so it's quite hot today. It's actually really nice, really nice pants because it's actually a little bit muggy, so I'm glad that the sun isn't out. This is the shuttle going back to the ship. How long from where we got off? Five minutes? Five minutes. About five minutes. It's definitely worth getting the free shuttle, walking five more minutes, obviously if you can. Um, I, and also, they had a part blocked for the front and it looked like it had like disabled access blocked off, didn't it? to help people with like disabilities in wheelchairs, mobility scooters and stuff and that section was blocked off specifically for those people at the front and this is on the free shuttle. Um, we're at the harbour now, so I'll show you. We're trying to find this really nice sweet shop that we saw here last time we came. Um, so we're on our way there now, we just found it on Google Maps and it's literally, it was like five minutes so we've been already walking for like two, three minutes, so it must be around the corner. Um, we're not going to spend too long today in Marseille are we Erin? Because there's a football match and stuff and there's riot piece everywhere, there's like bands everywhere, they're like obviously preparing. <laughs> So, and then I was like, oh, it's like black, the colour of the supporters, because there's like coach loads of people in black and people just wearing black everywhere. And Aaron said they're like the ones who, what are they, Aaron? The 
the ultras. Ultras, which are what are they? Rioters. They're like extreme hooligans. Extreme hooligans. Oh. But I see them with. Uh, I see them. I'm going to come closer. I see them with like these big backpacks and these big holders. And obviously the police got all their like shields and guns and like hundreds of them. So we're going to stay for a little bit, but we don't want to stay too long because there's this bit they've completely blocked off and they've got like hundreds of cars and everything in the areas and it's kind of like near where, oh, where we get the free shuttle. We found it. Aaron's already head looking. They have different like biscuits and sweets and everything there. So I'm walking a bit fast. Chocolates. Oh, what are these? They're chocolates. Oh, they're biscuits. They've got sweets and everything. Mm, we're definitely going to get something nice. Look at these sweets. We're going to another place and Aaron has found the marzipan, which is his favourite. You're going to get, aren't you? <laughs> going to pick up a few pieces. I don't like marzipan, but I love how it looks. Oh, hello. What are you thinking? When am I going to eat my marzipan? Oh, yeah. You saving it till we get back on the ship? Yeah, of course. Not eating it now. Are you eating it today? I don't know, it depends how I feel. Maybe later when you get into bed. Yeah, probably later. Probably later would be nice, I think. I'll be really nice now. We're getting on board Le Petit to Train Touristic. And this is the little train that we're getting on. We're on one of those little trains and we're going all the way to the top. Um, oh, can you see? Just here, that's where we're going. Aaron has cracked open his Marzi plan. I thought you weren't going to do it till the evening. What's it like? Is it good? Let's have a look. One or two, he said. He's already on the second. <laughs> my life hundreds 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 of vans hundreds of arm keys everything and they're completely shutting off roads <laughs> and um, one of the worst bits was actually where we were opposite where we got the free shuttle um, actually and also the Royal Caribbean shuttle was also just down here so yeah I want to go because I don't know, I see people shouting and stuff and I don't know if things are starting so I um, want to get back technically we could have like another like two and a half hours but I want to get back <laughs> I don't like it just in case you're interested and you're coming to Marseille this is the free shuttle um, you follow this along and you can see there's our ship Wonder of the Seas which is about I showed us even 10 minutes I'll say five minutes if that and you literally just follow this all the way along and it takes you back and there's other ships um, like docked behind and everything in case you're in a different one but yeah it's really easy to look super simple in case you're interested
she is much more than there, but it was a bit hard because it was so busy, it's hard doing two hands. So I got some nachos and I put some beef and some cheese on top. Then I got a chicken burrito and then I got a chicken taco with guacamole, cilantro, tomatoes, sour cream, everything. We got some rice and beans and then this is like a creme caramel dessert thing. I thought it was looked very well it looked very nice. I'm gonna eat and then I think we're leaving in about an hour now. So this is our our view. And then the centre is like all the way down there. We're sailing away from Marseille. We have the Norwegian escape there. Over there, I feel that looks like a PNA ship. Might not be, but it looks like, oh no. Is it Costa? I think it looks like PNA. Anyway, look how blue the water is. So nice. We're ready for dinner, and tonight is white night, so I've got on this kind of like white play suit play suit white jumpsuit and it's got like flowers on and then i also have my pearl bracelet for the white i have my ysl bag and then i have these new pearl earrings um these were i bought yesterday in mallorca um so i thought i'd wear these and pull them out for white night tonight we're off to hooked seafood tonight which as you can tell is a seafood restaurant here on board wonder of the seas um and it's another speciality restaurant um, so the price, I've just loaded it up, so we have purchased the unlimited dining package. Um, however, just so you know, just because I want to be informative, it's $54.99 each. And then because of where we are, we have a Spanish VAT added to it, which is 12%, which is on everything. Um, also, one other thing I wanted to mention, there is Spanish tax added on everything, but also we have 18% gratuity added on all drinks that you buy. Um, just so you're aware. So let's go off to Hooked. I'll show you outside quickly because it's kind of like dark but not super dark. It's really nice, it's really pretty. And we're gonna go get some seafood. I'm really excited, it's right at the top of the ship, deck 16 I believe. We haven't been up there yet, so that would be really nice. See what's up there afterwards and yeah, take you along as always. So nice at the moment, do you know what I mean? It's dark but not super dark. It's really pretty. We're in Central Park. Let me show Aaron's outfit because it was too dark outside. I love this outfit. It's one of my favourites. It's white night, so obviously he has the white on. Very nice. So I'm wearing white mixed in with other things. Mm -hmm. it's night and tonight we had dinner in Hooked as you saw so basically um, because the lights are American and I have the European settings you get all like the um, what's it called like the blinds coming down type of thing on the camera so I couldn't record it but I did take pictures so if I turn here or insert the pictures here um, we had these like cheese biscuits um, before our starter and then we had these um, what were they, Aaron? Roasted oysters? Baked. Baked. Baked oysters. And they're really tasty. There was a cheese one, which was so, so good. And then the next thing was the seafood platter. And it was like fried, um, fried crab, prawns, um, squid, scallops, calamari, and stuff like that, which was really nice as well. Then we had the lobster mac and cheese as a side and normal fries. And then for dessert, we had this coconut pie, which was really odd. I think it was a little, I don't want to say bland, but it was like kind of, it was really nice, but I felt like it needed something else with it. It had this tiny amount of caramel syrup, but I feel like it needed a lot more than that. Aaron's just quickly um, popped up to get something. 
that's what the noise was. Um, yeah, I feel like it needed something else. Overall though, it was really good. Service, I must admit, was really slow. Basically, the waitress, she said that they had a group of, it was meant to be a hundred people, um, had booked the restaurant, but more people turned up and they couldn't turn them away because obviously they were with the group. There is like a group of like 150 on board and they are, they're part of like, I'm not sure, they have like part of a business, there's like 150 of them. I don't, I don't know who they are, I haven't, I haven't really seen them. Because of that, it like delayed everything for the night. And so we had to wait and then we ordered a bottle of wine that didn't come until after our starter. So basically the manager came over and apologised. He said he had to run to the other side of the ship um, because they only had warm ones. They didn't have any cold ones um, kind of in the area. So he had to run to the other side of the ship to get a cold one for us, which was really nice of him. And they actually gave us the wine complimentary to apologise because it didn't come until after we had finished our starters. Um, so that was really nice. And I feel like they really like made up for the stove service and it's not their fault anyway and they work so hard. I look a little bit bad because I, I said something, I can't remember what it was about, um, oh, they, oh you'll get a good night's sleep tonight because it's been so busy and she said because of the large group, she's really really nice by the way, she said because of the large group she's going to be up until about one in the morning um, polishing the cutlery, um, so I felt really bad <laughs> even though it's not my fault. But yeah, the wine was really nice, the meal was really nice. And then afterwards we went to the show called Tat Factory. Now, Tat Factory, it was good. I enjoyed it. It wasn't really my type of thing. Like, I enjoyed the tap dancing elements and stuff like that. But it, some things were a bit odd. Like, they had, like, equal amounts women and men in the show. But the women were didn't turn up to, like, halfway through the show. And they were only there for, like, the group bits. Like, almost to make up numbers. So it felt really odd when they appeared. It didn't feel like they should be there or like or it felt like they should have like an extra part and then we just went to the casino and wasted money lost it all on the fancy slot machines like with the huge huge screens so I'm gonna go I'm really tired you might be able to see my eyes are tired my voice you might be able to hear it in my voice as well that I'm so so tired so I'm gonna go thank you so much for watching tomorrow we're in Lisphesia and we're doing the tour of the Cinque Terre sail around the French, no, Ita sorry, Italian Riviera it's called or something. I'm going to get myself sorted and then get a good night's sleep because these beds are super, super comfy. Bye! <laughs>